down from the sky, come down from the sky, come on down from the sky. Hi, I'm Lisa. I am the ukulele fool, foolishly believing that if you just got a ukulele, it's going to be one of the best things that ever happened to you. Let's do this exercise class style. We're going to do everything together. Get your ukulele. Let's get it in tune. Let's go over this strumming. Let's do some skills and drills. We'll do a song, but you know, no need to start singing right away. Just play along with me, do what you can, come back to this video, and you know, in a few short days, you'll have this mastered. Hopefully you have a clip-on tuner like this. Mine's a little bit fancier. Notice it's even picking up my voice. But here we go. The top note is a G. Notice how it's lighting up in the middle. C is the next one, E, and then the one closest to the floor is A. So that's using a clip-on tuner. I'll put a link up here so if you want to learn to tune your ukulele in more depth. The C7 chord is played with your index finger on the first fret or just above this metal bar on your ukulele like that. Don't pull your fingers away like that. That's bad form. That's just me showing you how you want to keep your fingers ready to go, ready for action over the fretboard. The F is played with your index finger on the E string, first fret, see right above that line there, and then you reach over with your middle finger to the G string. That's the one that's closest to your face, like that. You want to make sure that you're really on the tip of that finger like this. You don't want the finger resting and muting your strings. Check your strings, make sure they all ring out. To make the transition from the F chord to the C7, you simply move this finger over to the A string. Keep these fingers ready so that you can go back to the E string with your index finger and your middle finger is ready to go for the F. It's always good playing practice to keep these fingers ready to go, but keep your hand rest and relaxed as possible. This usually means that your thumb is going to be somewhere near the middle of your back and that your hand keeps a fairly relaxed but strong shape. If you find that your hand's more comfortable with your thumb peeking over the top a little bit, that's not so bad. Experiment around, try different positions, just play around with it. I, I always tell my students, channel your inner Jimi Hendrix. Just, you know, kind of fool around and see what you can get. Just always making sure that your hand is nice and relaxed because you don't want any hand issues when you're playing because that would be a bummer. If you notice I'm playing with a strap and if you don't have a strap, that's okay. You may just make sure that you're securely holding your ukulele in your lap and you're sitting down. I'm standing up because that's just how my camera in this room works. I like to teach beginners how to hold their fingers like this. Kind of like this is an imaginary pick. And you're just going to go down the strings like this. If that is in any way awkward for you, you have some options. Option number one is use more than one finger. Just do several fingers. See if that feels better. I'm using two here. There are great ukulele players that play with more than one finger. Option number two, get a felt pick. Now, if you don't have one right away, I'll show you option number three, but it's soft and flexible. And because you don't have a pick guard here on your ukulele, it won't damage your ukulele. So you can just hold the pick and there you go. Option number three, a regular guitar pick. A lot of ukulele packages are coming with this is what a regular pick sounds like. Here's a different angle on the strumming. I keep these fingers as relaxed as possible. You can even strum with two fingers if that's like that. Some people even get three in. There are many different ways to strum. 
let's do some playing together. You know, if you're, if not all your strings are ringing out and things like that, don't worry about it for now. We'll just go really slowly, deliberately, actually is a better word. So here we go. We're going to do four Fs, followed by four C7s, and back again. And we're just going to have a little bit of pause in between. So here we go. Ready? Begin. F, two, three. How's it going? Shake it out. It is normal to have the tips of your fingers on your recording hand be a little bit sensitive and tender. You haven't built up calluses yet, but having pain is not normal. So make sure that your hand is very nice and relaxed, that your body is in a nice relaxed position. Everything it can move as freely and smoothly as possible. Just you know, just feel like uh, everything is nice and relaxed. Let's do this again, starting on F. Here we go. F, two, three, four, switch, and C7. chance to revive those fingers. Let's do it again, except this time we're going to shorten up the transition time when we're not strumming. Here we go, starting with the F. Ready? Begin. ready to move on, we're going to do a different bit of a pattern with this, and then we'll move on to the song. And if not, just take a break, come back to this when you're ready, repeat the earlier part, no problem. Music is made of patterns. They're, they're, they're just everywhere. So let's learn this in a pattern. We're going to do two sections of four beats, and the first section is all going to be F, but the second four is going to be divided between C7 for two and F for two. Sounds like this. One, two, three, and four. C7 for two and F and four. One, two, and three, four. C7 and two and F and four. Like that. You notice too, I'm kind of doing a sing-songy thing because that's the melody of the song we're going to do. So let's give it a try. Ready? Begin. And F, two, and three, and four, C, seven, four, two, and F, four, one, and two, and three, and four, C, seven, four, two, and three, and four, a one, Seven, 
that's a pattern and it's coming straight from our song. Follow along with me, just do it. You know, do this several days in a row, maybe a week, and then maybe you can start integrating that singing in with it. One, two, ready, begin. Rock a little angel, come on down from the sky, down from the sky, come on down from the sky. Rock a little angel, come on down from the sky, come on down and stop teasing me. my comments on YouTube. So if you find that, that you would like some questions answered, you can do that. I hope that you've enjoyed this and that you consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I have a variety of ukulele centered topics that I do. And I also have a Patreon site and for $3 a month, you get live access to me as well as chord charts and all kinds of good stuff. So consider being a patron and supporting this YouTube channel and keeping these videos free.